Hello mobile MMORPG fans. This will be the first time I'm making a video with my voice over it. But don't worry, there won't be a tiny box in the corner showing my face and disturb your view. I just want you guys to enjoy the full screen picture without having nightmare after work. And if you hear funny sounds during this recording, I apologize. I just can't kill my neighbors, that will be against the law. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about a new MMORPG game called V4. I've been waiting for the global version of this game since last year, and now the time has finally arrived. Pre-registration phase is open now, you can check the link in the description below. Unfortunately, Nexon has not announced the actual launch date yet, kinda of fishy, but I used Hong Kong VPN and created a new Google Play account to download and play the game just to get a heads up before the actual global version is released. So without further ado, let's begin. I must say this is a very detailed character customization. From facial details like the eyebrow, pupil size, nose and lips, to the body height and weight. So it enables players to freely design their characters to fit their wildest imagination. Pretty cool customization. Big, big, big thumbs up. Now, Nexon seems to try to impress the players since the first time they step into the game. I'm playing the game using a low spec phone, Samsung i50, but I'm already enjoying amazing graphics here. Look at the detailed environment. You can see various types of plants and vegetations on the ground, the ray of sunshine coming through tree branches. And look how detailed the village surroundings are designed. Okay, so graphic-wise, you can't be disappointed with a game using Unreal Engine like this. And if your PC spec is better than your phone, then this will be a good news for you because the game is available in cross-platform, meaning you can play the game in both PC and phone so you can enjoy the maximum graphic settings on your PC. I would say this is a unique feature of the game, where players can switch the camera type into normal, free, order, and action. My personal favorite is action type. Players can also clear the screen and simply enjoy the full screen gameplay without being disturbed or distracted by tons of user interface menus around the normal screen. For global version, there will be six classes that can be played. While in the Chinese version that I'm currently testing, there are already seven classes playable. So it's safe to assume that there will be more new classes added into the game in the coming future. In general, all characters, male or female, look like swimsuit models, or we can typically find them in Beagle Live app. With perfect body type, long legs, big booty, and huge racks. This seems to be quite popular in gaming nowadays, huh? Except for this one, a lowly character. Look at that cocky little <laughs> Each character have two type of skill set or forms. I haven't able to go deeply into this yet, but the second form will be triggered once the meter bar is full. This feature will give players more versatility in playing the classes. Okay, let's review each available classes in the game. First one is the Gunslinger. Her main weapons are a pair of pistols and a rifle. Kind of reminds me of Leslie from Mobile Legend. She's a range character type, of course, attacking her enemies from a safe distance. Now, let's take a look of her skills in action. Okay, freeze here. She shoot enemies while hanging in the air with her head upside down. I don't know what the name of the skill is, but I'm gonna call it the propeller. Our next class is Magic User. You can't make an MMORPG game without this class, of course.
Roxy has all kinds of deadly devastating element attack. Fire, ice, wind, tornadoes, virus outbreak, economic recession, celebrities on TikTok, you name it. Next one we have Knight, a female melee character using a sword and a shield, which is quite a common class in most MMORPG games. The only difference in this game is her tight long pants. Now let's see how she does in battle. Warlord, a mean looking male character using a giant hammer as his weapon. Not much to say about this character type, you can tell how strong he is just by the look of it. Probably a melee type that will be sent as mid shield in the front line during massive PvP war. His hammer size however is ridiculously huge, as if he is trying to compensate something. Hmm. Slayer. This male character uses two-handed longsword and can be switched to one-handed blade, so to me he seems to possess a high attack speed. He fights his enemies in close range combat, and he attacks like a madman as if the enemies dare to lay an eye on his sister. Boomblade. I don't know why they call it Boomblade. Sounds kinda cute. This is the only non swimsuit model character. <laughs> There's nothing scarier for me than seeing a little girl running around with a huge axe on her back. And that is not just an axe, it can also be used as a shotgun. To be honest, this one is my favorite. Take a look at this. She serves her enemies from bottom to top. Shoot enemy in the groin, boom, use her axe to attack the mid part body and aim for the head. And that's what I call a full body service. Outstanding. And finally, what kind of MMORPG that doesn't offer their players cute pets and mounts to ride around? There are tons of pets and mounts in the game, and as you can see, these pets have huge variety of looks and designs, from scary monsters, cute dogs, and even otters dressing as Santa, like in freaking Halloween. And they have different classes that we can tell them from the background color. Grays are common, green, blue, purple, and so on and so forth, and I think orange here is the strongest one. And look at this dragon! Game of Thrones fans, this one is for you. But I'm sure it will cost you a fortune to get this dragon mount. So be ready to swipe and fly.
Okay, that is all I can show to you guys for now. I hope you all enjoy it and I look forward to see you guys in V4 soon. Thank you all for watching.